guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my Great Pyrenees Mellow, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about five commands that you should teach your Great Pyrenees as soon as possible. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So these are just the five commands that I would say are the most important to start teaching your Great Pyrenees puppy as soon as you get them. I always like to say you do obedience commands before you do any tricks. Tricks should come last. Your dog should have basic obedience because basic obedience can potentially save their life one day. He's got an itch. So the first command I would say is probably one of the most important and by far the first one you should technically be teaching or working on and that is recall. So this also is called like come, you tell your dog to come. So teaching a reliable recall as the puppy is younger is so important because it can literally save your dog's life and it will give them a lot more freedom. Dogs should be able to be off leash or at least be on a long leash and have a reliable recall. That way you can trust them around different distractions. Dogs who have reliable recall have more freedom than a dog who is only kept on a six foot leash all day. Um, recall comes in handy for numerous things. Say your dog gets out the door and you need to call them back and they come. It's super important that way they don't get hit by a car. So the second command I would recommend teaching or that you should start teaching your Great Pyrenees and that is leash manners. So loose leash walking is super important for puppies. It's a very easy concept to teach. Um, it's just something that a lot of people don't really think about teaching too often and it kind of gets away from them. But loose leash walking is super important, especially for Great Pyrenees because they are such big dogs that they could drag you down if they didn't have good leash manners. So number three, that is going to be the leave it command. So leave it is basically where you have your dog leave something. So if your dog is about to go eat something they're not supposed to, telling them to leave it is super important because you don't want your dog to pick up anything that could be poisonous. Say they go to pick up a poisonous snake, you wanna be able to tell them to leave it. That way they don't go and pick that snake up. Say they go and try to eat food that you've dropped off your kitchen counter that you've dropped on the floor. You're gonna wanna make sure that they don't pick up that food off the floor because you could potentially drop something that could be extremely toxic to your dog and that's not something you wanna have to deal with. So number four is going to be stay. So stay is super important for any dog to learn because it's where you have your dog stay and they'll stay in that same position. Now stay is super good to teach with like sit downs so like when you put your dog in a sit they should just automatically stay seated until you give them the release word but say can come in handy say you have to cross the road to get the mail and you want your dog to stay put without running across the road say you have to handle a situation and you need to put your dog in a down stay and have them stay there you don't want your dog running all over the place as you're trying to handle a situation so having a nice stay is super important which is why you want to start working on it as a puppy, as your dog's a puppy. So the fifth and final command that I think you should definitely teach your dog, and that is going to be sit. Dogs should know how to sit. Um, sit is super important for multiple things. It helps set a foundation for behaviors. So when people come in the house, having, them, having the puppy sit before the person pets them is super important. And that's a lot easier to do when your dog already knows the command sit. So obviously you're gonna to wanna to teach your dog more commands than just these basic ones, but these are just the five commands that I would definitely recommend working on as soon as possible with your puppy because it will be a lot more beneficial for you in the future and your dog will be have a lot more successful at life and in public and have a lot more basic obedience and a good structured setup day to where they're not gonna do anything bad and it will ultimately save their life, as I said. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time.